At about 7 o'clock on October 1st or 2nd, you're boarding the boat. Tell us what happened. Well, it was a very bad, it was a very bad night. It was bad weather and uh, um, it was uh, uh, also at some point that the fishermen apparently really didn't know where they were. There was also a bombardment of northern Germany, the peninsula of Rhein, and uh, at one point we were so close to that that uh, we were not sure in the morning when we finally saw land whether it was actually Germany or Sweden. Um, we were all put down in this little little cubicle in, in, inside the boat and of course we had to be very quiet and, in, until the boat got out on the water. Then they let some of the men up uh, on the deck and my father and my brother and my uncle uh, were all on the deck the rest of the night and they were completely uh, soaked to the bone and very cold. While down in the, uh, in the cabin uh, there were you know, probably 12, 15 people and everybody was seasick. It was absolutely horrible. Um, and uh, we as children were put in the, uh, in the little bunks. Uh, I don't think anybody slept and uh, everybody was really seasick and there were buckets with, for people to throw up in and they were knocked over. It was, it was really, really bad. But the um, streets were wonderful in welcoming us. If you see an example Meta is talking about an example that you think shows courage, make a little note. Then a little later somebody came and said they had a boat that night. Where were all the Jews? Where did they go? Where did they go in that time, Julie? In hiding. In hiding. And who took them in? Well, like Christians, the people who were fine, but they missed their own. Exactly. Lives, and and where did Jewish. they go? To where did they flee? And how did they get there? How did Mena Shane get there? Where did she go, Jane? Oh, I, I have a question, but I think she got there by train. She got, did you catch that? Mm -hmm. She took the train? Yeah. Also, just the way. Um, and where did she go? Did she go to Jalea? North? No. 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 She where did she go? She, she went to, to, the to the southern island and left from there. Did you ever meet King Christian the Tenth in Jubilee? Yeah, I, uh, I, did, I did meet him in the sense that every morning in the summer he would ride his horse from his summer castle, which was just in the suburb of Copenhagen, and my brother and I would ride our bikes over to the castle and follow him on his horse. And I remember once he, he told us we were getting too close. But those were the days when the king would ride around without secret service or anybody along with him, just alone in the countryside. Well, we were pretty worn out, but we were very relieved. And again, the Swedes were very welcoming. And then the next morning, my father took all our clothes to the cleaner because, believe me, it was pretty disgusting. And the, when he went to get it, the cleaner wouldn't take money, and he had filled all our pockets with candy. So those are the kind of kindnesses you never forget.